So hello, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, my fellow creative designers and content creators. Welcome once again to another exciting episode on this channel. And guys, in today's episode, this is what you are going to design. Anointed church flyer. Yes, anointed church flyer. And please, if this seems to be the first time you are coming across this channel, please, I want you to subscribe to this channel, like, comment, and then share. And then again, turn on your notification bell for this channel so that you get an update whenever I post a new video on this channel. So please, once again, let's go through the tutorial step by step. And at the end of the video, I'll give you a PSD file for everything, everything. Just download the PSD file and then extract it and use it for free. So without wasting much time, control N to open a new document. All right, so my control N is set and then I have the document size already as used in my recent and it's, the size is what 2000 by 2000 resolution resolution is 300 pixels and then that's all everything is going to be for social media hand handle so i write anointing anointed church flyer oh no no anointed flyer all right so click on enter then okay so then after that we are going to work on the background so i have all the resources file here in my downloads and then i'll post them for you to download for free i'll drag this and then drop it in photoshop okay so this is set and then i'll click on okay and then it will check it in photoshop hold alt and then scale it up this way nicely and then hold shift and then scale here and then scale the edge here just to fit hold out again and then scale it a bit just to cover the entire screen click enter or press enter and then i'll go there again go and pick this background again drag it and then release it in photoshop and then wait for it to load all right so it's downloading i'll press ok to check it and then boom that is it hold out again scale it up this way and then let it cover the entire screen hold it up to cover the entire screen and then you can push it at the top a bit press enter and then go to the blending option and set it to something like this hard light yes something like hard light is okay then click enter add layer marks and then let's click inside the layer mask press b on the keyboard to activate the brush to we are using a soft round brush yes go to the general and pick a soft round brush and then um let's brush this part away let's brush this part away and guys the, i think this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome all right so i'll go to the resources file again and then drag this drag this in photoshop and then release it all right so this is okay then click on okay and then hold alt to scale it up yes hold alt to scale it up and then yes let's scale it up to cover the entire screen this is awesome and that is it you click ok to check it and then you drag it down a bit like this yes then go to the blending option again and then we set it to something like this or better so let's go through and see let's go through and see maybe we get something quite different from this and let's go through let's go through let's go through from beginning to the end yeah let's go through from beginning to the end okay so we set it to overlay and then that is awesome that, yeah so overlay is awesome then we go there again we put up so many things together drag this clock background and then you release it in photoshop and then wait for it to load always guys wait for it to load yes so click on ok and then to check it and then hold alt to scale it up again yes why do we scale it up just to make sure that it covers the entire screen and then we leave it in overlay the uh, soft light again then this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome so we put everything together control g and then double click here and then call it background all right so our background is set and done nicely now the next thing is that we are going to bring our image yes we are going to bring our image and then we drag the image here and then release it into it boom like this then again we are going to drag the logo yeah, we are going to drag the logo, drag this and release it upstairs and then send it up like this. This is awesome. Yeah, so let's go to view, then go to guide and then new guide layouts. 
new galley out and set it to 6-6. Six, six. All right, so you set it to 6-6 six, six and everything is okay. Then you leave it like this. And then just to make sure that you are at the center, control T, and then put it at the center. Position this at the center nicely. Boom. Then let's put this in a group, control G, and then call it what? Logo. Yeah, that is the church logo. So logo. All right, so then the image, add a layer mask to it, B to activate the brush tool, and then let's clear the beneath the image. Yeah, something like this. And this is awesome. This is awesome. This is awesome. Then put it in a group. No, no, no. Yeah, we put it in a group and then call it what? Names and images. Yes, names, names and uh, images. Yes, so if you don't bother, you can add the names yourself. And then you go to go and add the 3D text effect. I've written, I've done it, work on it, and then I'll just drag it and put it over here. Yeah, I'll just work on it and I'll post the link for you to download the 3D text effect. And then in case you want to do something quite different from mine and you want to use the 3D text effect. Yeah, so I've worked on the 3D text effect already. And as I said, there will be a link for you to download and use them in case you want to use the same 3D text effect, but you want to use it in a different way. Maybe the text, you want to use a different way. All the links for you to download the resources file will be there. Then you'll be able to download them and then use it. So drag this and then drop it in Photoshop. Yeah, so this light, uh, light particle effect, drag it and then go to the blending option and set it to something like uh, let's go through and see let's go through and see and what did we choose i think this is awesome or i think this is awesome this is awesome so overlay is okay overlay is okay but let's add layer max and then clear the the image yeah we just want the image to pop like that we want the image to be visible so we clear the image like this and then we put this in a group and then you call it what theme yeah so this is the theme yeah yes and then you just went to go and work on the text yes you just go and work on the text and it's here i will just show you the text is made up of maybe it's glow effect and then the uh, yes everything everything here yeah everything here and then just link it and then push it this way so we push it that way and then we come and put it on top of this boom nicely like this and then that is it 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 yeah that is it and i think this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome yeah so this is it and this is it this is it we put everything together and then call it what text yeah text and guys this is how we were able to design this beautiful chat flyer and then let me go and show you the text for this ones we use a font called Axiforma. yeah Axiforma. Axiforma regular that is it that is the font we use for the date time venue and other things yes that is the font to use and guys this is how we drop the curtains and please once again subscribe to this channel like share comment and let me know anything anything at all anything that you want us to cover including everything yes anything or any design that you want us to run the tutorials on it for you just comment under this video or any of my videos and then i'll quickly attend to you please i love you and i'll see you in the next tutorials bye for now